is Sierra Belts. Welcome to my channel, Learning Belts Live. And today I'm going to talk about an Olympiad standard ratio sum. I'm going to read the sum before I can begin. The sum is here. We have sum of for case 3690 is divided among P, Q, R, and S such that P's share by Q's share equal to Q's share by R's share equal to R's share by S's share equal to 4 by 5. Then what is Q's share? sum is very simple. Let us see how to solve it. Okay. Um, here we have already one given fact that the sum of P's, Q's, and R's, and S's shares is 3690. First we write that. P plus Q plus R plus S equal to 3690. Now, here we have to find Q's share, hence we need to express each of the terms over here in terms of Q, except here Q is written as Q itself, hence we don't need to do anything to that. We need to take care of P, R, and S. We will solve them in the rough column. Okay, P. How to express P in form of Q? Here we have the ratio by P's share by Q's share is 4 by 5. It's P by Q equal to 4 by 5. Or, now we will do cross multiplication. Here we have 5P equal to 4Q. Or, P equal to 4Q by 5. Now, before we forget the value of Q, let us substitute. If we don't substitute, we might forget the value. Hence, let us do it now itself. Here, P is 4Q by 5. And here we have the Q all phrase. Why not write it? Now, we have to get the R. Hence, I'm erasing this to make space for getting R. get R, we have to use this ratio, Q by R, equal to 4 by 5. Again, 4R equal to 5Q. I've done again cross multiplication. Or, R equal to 5q by 4. Before we forget it, please write it down. Now to get s. Now, here there is an important thing to notice. P and R was not a difficulty to get because they have direct relationships with Q, but S does not have a direct relationship with Q, hence we have to use a kind of a substitution that you will see now itself. Okay, here what relation is R? R by S equal to 4 by 5. R by S equal to 4 by 5. We need to use this relation. Or 4s equal to 5r. Or s equal to 5r by 4. But now we have the value of r in terms of q. Hence, if we substitute the value of r with that value, this value, then we might get s as in terms of the value of q. In terms of q. Substituting. Here we get 5 by 4 into what was R's value? 5Q by 4. Okay. 
which is 25 kL by 16. Ultimately, we have this 25 kL by 16 and equating 3690. Okay, now we need to do some trick over here. To bring them all into enough fractions which are difficult to work with, we need to multiply each of these terms with the LCM of the fractions denominators. Here we have 5, 4, and 16. But let's get the LCM very quickly. The LCM is 80. Here we have the LCM is 80, and whatever we multiply over here with all of them has to be multiplied on this side too. We should not forget this. Okay, now let's multiply each of the terms by 80. 4Q by 5 into 80 plus 80Q. 80Q is already there. 5Q by 4 into 80. Sorry, got a little carried away. I know there is a lack of specs, but please bear with me. Eight. Now here I have to give another tip. Do not do this multiplication and waste your time because later on in the equation or sum or whatever you're doing, there may be a chance to cancel out any of these and that may reduce your work. Then why to waste time in doing this big multiplication and where there is a chance to cancel, isn't it? Okay, now I need to write the board. I need to remember the values. Here I'm canceling 5 and 80. To get 16 here. Here it's all we're given here. Here we have 20 and here we have 5. So let us do it now itself because later on we might forget. Here this will be 64Q. Okay let me see if I can just write it down over here. Okay, it's a bit clumsy, but um, we need to manage it. Yes, 64Q plus 80Q plus 100Q plus 125Q. Now I need to do this addition really quickly. I'm doing it right away. It's 369Q. Okay, let us remember this value because now I need to erase the board. Okay, now I need to remember what value we got because here I don't have place. Hence, now recalling, we had 369Q. And what was the equation? 3690 into 80. Now, I can, I can smell there's something going to happen because it can be cancelled. And this was the benefit of not doing this multiplication. You see, I told you. There is some trick hidden in all sums. And just like that, we have got over here. Now canceling, we have 10. 10 to 80 gives 800. We have our answer. And let us uh, now come to the conclusion that what's Q's share? And therefore, Q's share is the pace 800. And this is the answer. Hope you enjoyed solving this sum with me and please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you. 
in the next block, we will discuss on episode two, which is another tricky sum of Olympiad standard on ratio. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.